back to uh, assembly. This is the, uh, ooh, I go. This is the um, Compo Studio for the uh, old school competition that we have just watched. And with me, I have my good friend Bonefish. Hi, Fish. Welcome back. Thanks. Always, always fun to have you here on these uh, not couches but no chairs. Um, so we have now gone to the uh, old school um, demos, six demos in total. I'm happy about the number. Yes, yes, much better. Well, twice as much as last year. I don't think anyone is complaining about that. Um, shall we go through them bit by bit? We, we have we have some time. So sure. Um, first one uh, was uh, something in, in Finnish, <laughs> but uh, also I waited for your comments because it was my <laughs> one screen demo that I started um, Wednesday evening. <laughs> so well. For for a compo filler for like mm -hmm. done in, in just like one day, it's it's really good, I would mm -hmm. say. And you know, it's always good to have yeah. more entries. So I will always invite I would like to invite um, more people, you know, to participate, make something mm -hmm. like proper, like uh, multi uh, several months of work demo, they should still participate in this way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I always want that I also wanted to put this in to prove, like, yeah, I have nothing to release. I have no entry. You always have an entry with, with, with you know, four or five hours of work from, from scratch and yes. recycle some other stuff. There, there's always something new that you can put out there. Yeah. So a uh, bit of a proof of concept. Yes. Uh, and, and to your jumping scroller. So. No, oh, thank you. <laughs> Pre-calculated sine waves in tables for the winnings. Well, C64, so. It's, yes, like add and... That's it. So, um, second entry was for the Game Boy, Cl the Game Boy, like the original um, Game Boy, yeah, the or original, original big white Game Boy uh, called Wobbly Celebration. Yeah. Well, for me, I don't know. I, 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 it's it's not to my like things. I would say maybe it started too slow with us just like sign scroller. Or I know that it's not simple to do that on on Game Boy, of course. Um, but you know, maybe maybe it just uh, was was like um, uh, it, it it was like too long for for only like three effects different. So mm -hmm. I would I would definitely would like to you know see it shorter or maybe more effects. That would be my, much nicer. But on the other hand, positive thing about it is that it's celebrating 30 years of Game Boy, and I'm always like pro-celebrating anniversaries and stuff. So, yeah. okay. That's one thing with 30 years of Game Boy. It only it also means that um, Human Target by Melon Design is also close to 30 years old, mm. because it has a big vector Game Boy in it. Yeah. And um, I was at the release party where that came out. Okay. So I've been doing this for a while. I just realized while sitting there. But no, um, I, I, I just like um, I'm. I always like the DYCP, so different wide character position scrollers. Uh, although yes, this one was pretty fast. I know it's not ideal to film it on a non-backlit Game Boy screen. Yep. So um, that sadly didn't help for the demo to win any prizes yes. here. Yes, they, they probably should use emulator for for the mm -hmm. for the yeah. Comp I, yeah. I actually. I actually met the creator of, 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 the, of the demo. He doesn't really have an SD card reader, so he hacked his Game Boy with a right. ribbon cable to an EEPROM chip. All right, all right. And, and so <laughs> when it's from there... Me mega respects for that. that. That was like, yep, I, I have a thing on Game Boy, and I'm going to show it. Yeah. Um, third one, um, your field. Yeah, Amiga 500 by Void. Uh, well, they said that it's another, uh, like, it, it is another comp filler. Um, well, I would say that, you know, uh, as I, I already said what I, I think about uh, compo fillers, uh, but I would like to say, to add this one, that uh, this is not the common scroller that you would see mm -hmm. everywhere, and it's not a simple one to do. So, mm -hmm. you know, this is like compo filler that someone actually took an extra effort to mm -hmm. do it. So, yeah. big respects for that also. In, in one sentence, how do you do like a rotating scroller like that? Well, it, it's it, all fake or not? Not. No, no, it's not fake. Uh, well, it, it is pre-calculated, but it's not fake. So, yeah, uh, there, there are like uh, you can do it on pro probably two, at least a, that I know of, of uh, two methods. Mm -hmm. But this one was probably done by like plotting a lot of dots that 
been yep. plotting with uh, pre-calculated code. Yes, uh, looking at the scroll, there was like lots of fine dots that you yeah. would have when it was uh, in a turn, you would have some space in between. So yes, this was a lot of, this was a big bunch of dots. Yes. yes. But still, you know, to fill it up, it's, it, it was quite CPU intensive. So, you know, it's, it is a little bit more of effort. It's not like probably one day of, of work. It's not, it's, it's not, not a screen with a bouncy scroller. Yeah, yeah. Un unless, you know, they have it from before, so. But, you well, well, you know. As I said, it's not common scroller, so. No, 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 no. I always like those, 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 those like, okay, so, you are see scroller is one, but when they go, like, completely wobbly, it's like, okay, extra points. So, yeah. So, and that one. Uh, next one was um, um, on Atari Falcon. Yes. Uh, an O30 at 60 megahertz, so a bit of a slower machine in the Atari family? Yes, a bit, bit slower machine Falcon, but uh, uh, family, but I don't know, I, I was somehow underwhelmed by it, you know, because it's still a Falcon, and mm -hmm. I, I just think that uh, you know, they could, they, they definitely could use some transitions for a start, mm -hmm. so, you know, to up their, the, the overall look and feel of the demo. Mm -hmm. so, but yeah. Aren't we spoiled by Falcon demos? Because always when you, when you see like a best of Atari demo show, yes. it's full of Falcon demos? Yes, probably, probably. And one was released earlier this month. So mm -hmm. still, uh, still I'm sure. Blah, blah, probably. Yeah. Well, Silly Venture is very likely that there was an Atari release over there. Yes, um, so and then so we've been a bit spoiled, and then you have a slower Falcon, and then. Yes. Um, that, yeah. Well, at, in, at least in my case. Okay, so, you know. and the the like the the intro of the demo with like the movie credits. What's your? I'm I say it's pre-calculated movie-wise. Yes, it looked like that. So mm -hmm. I would I would need to agree with you. On well, that. there's the there's a I, I I have um my own method of like finding out how it is. Like okay, so you have uh, some sprites, and if and if it still doesn't match up, it's an animation. Yes. And I found that this was uh, probably, uh, and well, there was some nicely done, but still. Yeah. And there were some artifacts, in, artifacts in mm -hmm. those effects, in few do of those yeah. effects. So I, I also yeah. would suggest. But in the end, I found that they were going through all the classic effects that you would expect in a '90s demo a bit to come come by. Yes, yeah. but. Again, some it, 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 yeah, it, it has everything, you know, but, you know, I, I would expect this on the normal Atari ST, not on the Falcon. Just, yep. just that. Well, it, it was good demo, yep. but, you know, maybe a little bit, as you said, maybe we're, mm. we are a little bit spoiled. Not a quiz question, but was it the difference between ST and the Falcon? Oh. <laughs> because I don't know from memory. Oh, oh, and oh. I, I know that now, sorry, that the guys from Havoc and Outline will now kill me. Me for asking this. Okay, yeah. Well, it's it's a similar difference as between Amiga 500 and Amiga AGA. Okay. So it's like much faster process, process, uh, processor, processor, video, video upgrade. Things, yes, and DSP, of course, for the playing music, which is yep. us usually like sampled M MP2 stream mm -hmm. music. Okay. So, so uh, speaking of you know, 90s effects, the uh, next. Uh, and three is in uh, in in the nineties. Yes, by Adept. Um, well, you know, probably my favorite from the compo. I mm -hmm. need to say, uh, some of the frame rates were low, but visually it was quite pleasing. The music was quite quite pleasing. It 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 was a proper demo, so I I, I don't have anything to to say, you know, against it. I, I really enjoyed it and I really loved it. And I hope that Adapt and Tractor together will mm -hmm. continue doing the old school demos. Mm -hmm. um, if this would have been released in the, in the 90s, yes. what would you think would have, would it have disappeared in a compo? Would it have won something? So take for instance that, that go to the party 94, party 95, uh, or even uh, uh, Mega Symposium 97. If you put it, like, take your time travel machine and put it in compo there, yeah. what would it have done? No, it's hard to predict. Of course it is, that's why I'm asking me, it. For me, you know, even nowadays, when, I, when I'm looking mm -hmm. at the party 94 demos, mm -hmm. I'm blown away. You know, they're, they're 
that was the party with the best demos, you know, at least on Amiga, <laughs> uh, until last revision. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, you know, I, I'm always like blown away looking at all those old demos. So I, I cannot really predict, but I think that people would be quite surprised, you know, at least in the, in the first, in the, in, the, in, the, in the early 90s, maybe in the late 90s, this would already mm -hmm. be like something like a standard. Yep. But this is also like, it's quite polished, you know, it's like very nice graphics, it was. amazing music, you know, mm -hmm. smooth flow. Yep. So everything was like really, yep. really nicely done. Yes, I remember going to um, wired parties in Belgium and playing demos without music because the sound card wasn't supported. So yes, this would be late 90s. Yes, oh. yes definitely. But still, yes, indeed. Uh, next demo, number six, uh, also um, for all the PC hardware, uh, Pio Pio by uh, Westbloom. Yeah. Um, um, I really liked it design-wise, but Westbloom always has this special design thing, mm -hmm. and I may not always like it, but I like this one um, in particular, mm -hmm. but I'll have your comments on it now. Well, I, I like it from the old-school point of view. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I told you already, it, it wasn't my favorite in the combo because... Mm -hmm. Uh, like uh, and also um, I don't know I, I you know I, I know the break, background of how they probably have done some of the effects so that toned down a little bit for toned it down mm -hmm. a little bit for me but yeah I enjoyed it a lot uh, the tune was interesting like mm -hmm. very bassy very like party going so you know it I would say that it, it was a crowd pleaser, but you know everyone has its own mm -hmm. opinion. So, well, no. Um, on a personal note, I tend to agree that in the nineties, look like the industrial design that was 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 in it, and and the color choice and the, the overall polishedness was just a bit higher yeah. than people. But you know, personal opinion. I just um, um, you know. A demo like that, you, you would yell PC sucks and not even watch, watch the compo at Mega Symposium. So it, this is like a, a good way to rediscover all these older machines. Yes, yes, mm. definitely. Mm. Um, looking at um, all the um, this usage of, and of older PCs coming in, because, you know, um, you have a, a gap of 20 years of hardware which is no longer used. So um, the, the question is, is like um, a PC like this, like a Pentium 133 with, with memory, graphics card, blah, blah, um, old school. Would you call it an old school and, say, and put it on the same level as an Amiga 500? Well, it's definitely not on the same level as Amiga 500 mm -hmm. or Commodore 64. No. Um, I would, personally, I wouldn't call it old school, but... Um, we need to be released years old. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's like, it's really great to see nice demos in the, in the old school compo. So, you know, if uh, that's what needs to be done, you know, to, to, to invite Pentium in, in old school mm -hmm. compo, then, you know, we need to do that. I've, I've had the uh, discussion somewhere else today, and um, I'm perfectly, I'm personally also not in favor for it, but I would. Also, I, I am now collecting other people's um, opinion well, on it because it, it goes like, okay, um, versus with versus Amiga versus 64. It's already a stretch, honestly, that that that, that, that we have uh, like an uh, Atari VCS versus a Game Boy versus um, technically uh, Amiga OCS yes. in one block, yes. and then expand it with something that's a multitude faster, multitude more memory bandwidth. Exactly. To a PC that might be stretching it. Exactly. That, that's my biggest but only problem with it. You mm -hmm. know? For example, you know, if you had a group that would work on a like, uh, like really serious C64 demo uh, for months and then come here to compete and then compete against like Pentium from late 90s mm -hmm. or even like later, so th that would be unfair. So that's my only problem with it. But you know, you can still say that it's unfair Amiga against Commodore 64 and Falcon the, against the, Amiga 500. The opinions exist, of course. So, yeah. So, yeah, it, it's always a thing. Um, in, in general, because we have now gone through all uh, 
six entries. Yes. Um, any your your favorite was then uh, in the nineties. Yes. So um, I've asked a question to everybody. What's your second one? The second one was the the number six. Yeah, the pure pure. Yeah. Okay. So okay, cool. Uh, and uh, over I think personally for me, um, I would put the uh, Amiga OCS there because I really love those twisty uh, scrollers uh, also because the the first demo I saw on Amiga 500 was uh, the Megalo demos by Wild Copper and they had this uh, rotating... Yeah, yeah, they, but they uh, have like pre calculated That was completely pre-calculated. Yeah, pre so awesome. with bitmaps and blobs yep. on. Yeah. Uh, but that looked so awesome. So yeah. I am since then, I am a sucker for scrollers <laughs> like that. Oh, <laughs> Amiga, guilty. So, uh, okay, good. Um, any final words? Because I think we can wrap this up. We have both voiced our opinions here. Well, you know, guys, keep. Keep up the good work. Keep keep on making demos. Keep making demos. Even yeah. if, even if it is a one effect with a little scroll and some music. Yes, definitely. Put it out there. Yes. Okay. So, um, Bonefish, thank you a lot. Thank you for having me here. All right. Uh, always welcome. Happy to have you here. Uh, we're gonna round off here, and uh, we are gonna have continue here on. Uh, assembly uh, dance music compo will be uh, up next and uh, until then uh, we'll see you later we'll see you tomorrow we'll here for a few days have fun